book about Barack Obama in reading class, and Mrs. Stack, my teacher, said that we could get a sticker if we read um, chapter two to our parents, but I already read chapter two, and there's this information about slavery, so I'm just gonna read it. It says Jim Crow laws as the heading, or the subheading, the title, whatever you want to call it. Um, the end of the Civil War also brought, brought end to slavery. However, until the middle of the 20th century, black people were often treated as second-class citizens. This was most true in some southern states. states. Black people were kept apart from white people through laws known as Jim Crow laws. The name may have come from a black character in song and dance shows popular in the 1800s. Black people could not eat the same restaurants or stay in the same hotels with as white people. Signs in stores and windows said, for whites only. Black families could not buy homes in white neighborhood. Black children could not go to the same school as white children. There were even separate water fountains, separate seating areas in movie theaters and baseball parks, and separate seats on buses. The idea was that the two races would be separate but equal. The only system, only the system was never equal. A water fountain for black people would barely work, while the one next to it for whites could be would be lovely and modern.